Hi, I'm Jason with Solutions Pest Salon, and this is Pest Support, where you ask the questions and we give the answers. Our question today is, how do I tell a flea bite from a bed bug bite? It can be hard to tell the difference between a bed bug and a flea bite, but knowing the difference can help you get control of whichever pest you have faster. Keep in mind that you should not rely on bites to tell you whether you have a flea or a bed bug problem. You must perform a proper inspection and find conclusive evidence of which pest that you're dealing with. When it comes to bed bugs, you probably won't feel their bite until a day or two after they've bitten you. You might feel a burning sensation before red itchy welts appear. The bites will be on exposed skin, typically on the upper body around the neck, arms, or back. An easy way to know if they're bed bug bites is if the welts are arranged in lines or groupings. Flea bites will be felt immediately after they've bitten you, and a red welt will form within an hour. Since fleas are typically hiding at the ground level, the bites will be on your lower body, around your ankle, legs, or the backs of the knees. And ask any cat or dog, flea bites are extremely itchy. Unlike bed bug bites, the welts will be grouped randomly or sporadically because fleas like to hop from spot to spot when they feed. Remember to use this info as the potential launching point for your pest inspection. This should help you connect the dots. Pun intended. I'm Jason with Solutions Pest and Lawn, and this is Pest Support. If you have any pest control questions you need answers to, or have any pest related problems you need help with, stop by one of our stores, visit our website, or give us a call and get help today. And a red welt will be formed with the. <laughs> I gotta get it out. I get its tongue twisted. Red welt. Red welt. Red welt will form within an hour.